everybody, it's Tessa Loves Little Reborns, and today I thought I would share with all of you how I make fake chocolate milk for my reborn toddler. So I had a video like this posted back in the summertime, and it was very popular among all of my videos, and I know that lots of you guys really enjoyed it and that I helped lots of you. Unfortunately, I got lots of rude comments on that video, and lots of people just didn't understand what I was saying, um, didn't understand why I was making fake chocolate milk, and some people just didn't like my method. So I have updated the way that I do it now anyway, and I thought that it would be cool to share with you guys how I do it now. So there are lots of different methods to doing this. You can use the marker method, which is basically where you color with a brown marker on strips of printer paper, and then you dip it into some kind of milk or formula, like fake that you've made, and it will color it brown, and that's how you can make chocolate milk. Um, I know some people have used um, like actual food products. I don't personally use anything that can mold or can go bad because I don't always wash out my bottles right away. So what I'm going to be showing you today is a super easy method and it's super inexpensive. Um, I am going to be using fabric softener and food coloring. And I know that some of you guys might not have those things right at the ready, I guess, to use, but I really would suggest using them. It's the best method, best method that I have found so far to use. So right here I have the fabric softener that I'm going to be using. Just going to move this sippy out of the way here for a second. So this is the fabric softener that I'm using. Ultra downy, free and gentle. It doesn't have to be downy. It can be any brand. I'm sure that you could even find this at the dollar store. Basically it is a fabric softener that is white and is scent free. So that's what you're looking for. Lots of fabric softeners are colored like pink or blue and they have very strong like floral scents or whatever they want your laundry to smell like. This is what I have found to be the best. It has the best consistency and obviously the best color for making milk. And then you're also going to need some food coloring. So I've only used um, liquid food coloring, but I'm sure if you had a powdered food coloring or a gel food coloring, I'm sure you could use that too, or like a paste food coloring. This is what I'm going to be using. It's by Clubhouse. Um, pretty common. It comes in little dropper bottles. This was under $3, I'm thinking, at my local grocery store. And it comes with orange, or not orange, yellow, green, blue, and red. And as you can see on the back here, it has a color blending chart. This is just the brand that I'm using. It comes with this. And if you look down here, you see there's a little brown droplet, and it says that you need two drops of green, two drops of red, and six drops of yellow. And I've tried this out before, and it makes the absolute perfect brown chocolate milk color just using food coloring, which is great, because I know it can be a real pain trying to find brown food coloring. Obviously, like at the grocery store, you'd have to go to some kind of specialty cake decorating store or something. So I'm going to be using this sippy cup. I'm going to go ahead and open up my fabric softener, and this is a smaller bottle of fabric softener that I got for less than $6 I'm thinking, but like I said, I'm sure I've even seen it at like Dollar Tree or something. Um, so just look around and um, see what you can find. So I'm going to add some of my fabric softener to my sippy cup here. The amount of chocolate milk that I want. So I like to fill it up to about there. It's all up to you. You guys can experiment. Um, you could also make strawberry milk or banana milk um, or some kind of milkshake if you wanted to by experimenting with colors. Obviously banana milk would be kind of a pale yellow and strawberry milk would be like a pale pink. But like I said, you guys can experiment, see what you like. So I did just buy this food coloring brand new, so I'm going to open it up here. I have been using the same food coloring for like two years in my bottle, so it has lasted me a long time and just now have I needed to buy any new stuff. Go ahead and open that up. You can see the little dropper bottles. So I'm going to go ahead and get out my yellow and my green and my red. And, like I said, two drops of green, two drops of red, and six drops of yellow. Oopsie. So I'm going to start with my yellow. Try my best not to spill it. And I'm going to do six drops of that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alrighty. And two drops of green. One, two. 
and two drops of red. One, two. Now, like I said, experiment. Maybe you want to add a little bit more red. Maybe you want to add a little bit more yellow. Just see what you like. It kind of depends on what you're comparing it to. But I found this looks really, really good in photos and on video. I'm just going to make sure that my lid is on nice and tight. You can see the food coloring in there. And I'm just going to give this a little bit of a shake. And you want to make sure that you shake it up really well so that you don't have any little bits of food coloring and that everything has settled properly. And as you can see, we've just made chocolate milk. Now, if I didn't know better, I would definitely say that this was chocolate milk. You can see that the fabric softener clears the sides just like milk would. It foams up just like real milk would. I think it's wonderful. I think it looks very, very much like chocolate milk. You might be able to see my camera lens there. But that is how I make chocolate milk for my reborn toddler. Simple enough, isn't it? So if you have any more requests, you can go ahead and leave them down below. And I hope that I helped some of you guys. Um, also today, I hope to do a video showing you guys how I seal bottles, as well as how I will be making juice for my reborn toddlers and how I make my fake formula. Um, you guys can go ahead and take a look for those, see if they're uploaded yet if you're interested. You can, of course, subscribe if you're interested in other tutorials having to do with reborns and stuff. And hopefully I will talk to you guys soon. So thanks for watching, everyone.